Have you ever had that moment of panic when you just couldn't remember your password? I sure have. Just the other day, I was locked out of my Dropbox account right before an important meeting. Talk about stressful. But thankfully, my password manager saved the day and it got me thinking about how critical it is to choose the right password manager for your needs. So today I'm comparing two of the biggest names out there, LastPass and 1Password. Let's dive in. If you've been following the news, you know that LastPass had a rough couple of years with not one, but two major data breaches. It's left a lot of us wondering if we can still trust it. On the flip side of the coin, 1Password has stayed rock solid with no security breaches to date. But beyond just security, what do these password managers really offer in terms of features? And which one should you trust with your bucket load of private credentials? Well, today on Safety Detectives, we'll compare 1Password to LastPass and see how they stack up against each other. We'll cover security, functionality, ease of use, and pricing, so by the end, you'll hopefully know which one is the right fit for you. So stick around as we dive into the nitty gritty of these two popular password managers. All right, let's kick things off with security because honestly, that's what matters the most here. LastPass and 1Password both use industry standard AES 256-bit encryption. That's the same level of encryption trusted by banks and the military, so it's pretty solid. Plus, they offer a variety of multi-factor authentication options, including Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, Duo, YubiKey, and RSA Secure ID. These extra layers make it really tough for anyone to break into your vault, and you can use multiple MFA methods together for added security. So far, so good, but here's the twist. LastPass had two major data breaches in 2022 and a credential suffering attack in 2021. In the 2022 breaches, attackers gained access to LastPass's development environment and later backup data, which included encrypted vaults. However, the credentials in these vaults remain safe thanks to the strong AES 256-bit encryption. What the attackers did access, however, was some customers' data, such as email addresses, phone numbers, and certain billing information. This still poses a significant risk for phishing and other social engineering attacks, making it critical to consider where you store your sensitive information. Despite these breaches, LastPass stands tall when it comes to security. One feature that stood out to me was their dark web monitoring, which alerts you if your personal information ever floats around on the dark web. They also have a security challenge that acts like your personal security coach, identifying weak or reused passwords and suggesting stronger alternatives. LastPass operates on a zero knowledge security model, so you're the only one who has access to your vaults. The security dashboard is a neat addition that gives you insights into your password health, picks up on any weak or reused passwords, and offers suggestions for improvement. If you want a deeper dive into LastPass's features and how it stacks up after those security breaches, check out our LastPass review on Security Detective's YouTube channel. All right, now let's talk about 1Password. These guys have a spotless security record. Similar to LastPass, 1Password uses AES 256-bit encryption and a zero-knowledge architecture, meaning your data is encrypted on your device before it reaches its servers. Just like LastPass, 1Password has a unique secret key, a 34-character string generated on your device that works alongside your master password to unlock your vault. This makes it nearly impossible for attackers to get into it. On top of that, 1Password is SOC2 Type 2 certified, adding to those robust security claims. 1Password also receives regular third-party security audits by independent experts who constantly check its security measures to ensure that they are up-to-date and effective. It also has a bug bounty program, which pays security researchers to find and report any weaknesses, so there's a strong incentive for ethical hackers to identify and fix vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by malicious actors. All right, time to discuss the features because besides being secure, a password manager has to be useful and easy to use. Starting with LastPass, it has got all the essentials. You can store passwords, use autofill to make logging in super easy, save secure notes, and generate strong passwords. Their password generator can create passwords up to 99 characters long and can also create pass phrases with memorable words, which is great if you want something that is really secure. It also has a security dashboard that shows you the health of your passwords, highlighting any weak or reused ones. It's like having a personal security advisor built right into the app. Another cool thing about LastPass is the multi-factor authentication options. You can use 1Pass Password's physical authenticators like YubiKey and even biometric logins. This means you can layer up your security, making it much harder for anyone to get into your account. 
All right, now let's check out 1Password. It also covers the basics like password storage, autofill, secure notes, and a password generator. But it takes things up a notch with a few more unique features. Its password generator can create passwords up to 100 characters long and even offers a passphrase system, which creates passwords that are both strong and easy to remember. Plus, it sports a feature called Watchtower, which alerts you to security breaches, weak passwords, and other vulnerabilities. It also monitors the expiration dates on your payment cards and offers passkey adoption, keeping you one step ahead of any potential threats. Now, one of the standout features of 1Password is travel mode. This is perfect for travelers who worry about their data being inspected at certain borders. When you activate travel mode, it hides sensitive information and only shows the data that you need for your trip. Another unique feature is their support for virtual payment cards, which adds an extra layer of security when making online purchases. And there's also support for pass keys, which are a more secure alternative to traditional passwords. Recovery options are also crucial in case you ever lose access to your account. 1Password offers an emergency kit, which includes all of your login details and a unique secret key and Windows Hello, which allows biometric recovery. LastPass provides multiple recovery options like SMS recovery, one-time passwords, and master password hints. For a comprehensive look at all of the features that make 1Password stand out, be sure to watch our full 1Password review. Password share is another area where these two differ. With LastPass, you can easily share passwords with other LastPass users. It's pretty straightforward, but the recipient needs a LastPass account, and it frequently asks you to verify your email before sharing. 1Password makes sharing even simpler with their Pst feature, which I think is a fantastic name. You can share items with anyone, even if they don't have a 1Password account. You can generate a secure link that the recipient can then access. This makes it super versatile for families, teams, or anyone who needs to share sensitive information securely. All right, now let's talk about usability because if a password manager isn't easy to use, then it's not going to help you much. Starting with LastPass, setting it up is a breeze and it offers a straightforward extension for all major browsers, making it easy to save and autofill your passwords. 1Password is also easy to set up and use. The installation process is quick and its interface is clean and intuitive, making navigation a breeze. Plus, their mobile app is highly rated for its reliability and ease of use. 1Password has two types of extensions, the traditional one that requires a desktop app and 1Password X, which works independently. The latter is great for Chrome OS and Linux users, but is still underdeveloped and lacks features like biometric authentication. You can easily autofill passwords on websites and apps, which makes logging in a lot quicker. However, some users have reported occasional syncing issues between devices, which can be a bit frustrating. But overall, LastPass is straightforward and user-friendly. 1Password also does a great job in the ease of use department, but it does have a few quirks. To get the full functionality of its browser extension, you need to install the desktop app. They do offer 1Password X, which is a browser-only version, but it lacks some features like biometric authentication, and that's a must if you ask me. Despite this, 1Password's interface is clean and easy to navigate. While some users appreciate its security features and ease of use, others have reported issues with autofill reliability and app crashes. But 1Password makes up for it with Apple Watch support, so you can store and access passwords right on your risk. How handy is that? Now, cross-platform compatibility is also crucial. Both LastPass and 1Password support Windows, macOS, iOS, and Android. But there is a slight difference here. LastPass requires Android 9 or later for full functionality, while 1Password supports older Android versions with an older app version. On iOS, both apps perform swimmingly. Both password managers make it easy to autofill passwords on your mobile device. With LastPass, you get seamless autofill on both iOS and Android, but it does require Android 9 or later. 1Password also offers smooth autofill functionality and works well with older Android versions as long as you install the older app version. On iOS, again, both apps perform swimmingly. Pricing is a big deciding factor because, let's face it, nobody wants to pay a ton for keeping their password safe, no matter how essential it may be. Starting with LastPass, it has a free plan, which is great for basic use. It includes password storage, autofill, and basic security features. But if you want more advanced features, you'll need to upgrade to their premium plan, which costs $3 per month billed annually. 
This plan includes dark web monitoring, emergency access, priority tech support, and one gigabyte of encrypted file storage. It also offers a family plan for $4 per month, again, billed annually, which covers up to six users and adds shared folders and family management tools. Now, 1Password doesn't offer a free plan, but it does have a 14-day free trial for all of their plans. Their personal plan costs $2.99 per month, billed annually, and includes all of the essential features like password storage, autofill, secure notes, and watchtower alerts. For families, it offers a plan at $4.99 per month, billed annually, which covers up to five family members and includes individual vaults and item sharing. 1Password's business subscription starts at $7.99 per user per month and includes advanced features like team management, activity logs, and custom roles. All right, we've covered a lot of ground, so let's boil it down to the final verdict. Which password manager should you choose, LastPass or 1Password? Starting with LastPass, it's super easy to use and set up. The free plan is awesome if you just need the basics and don't want to spend any money. But let's not forget about those big security breaches in 2022. It's a budget-friendly option, but you need to be okay with its recent history and some syncing issues. If you're looking for something simple and cheap, then LastPass can work. Now for 1Password. It's a bit pricier, but you get a lot more for your money. The interface is clean, you've got unique features like travel mode and Apple Watch support, and their security record is spotless. If you want the best security and don't mind paying a little bit extra, 1Password is the way to go. Plus their family and business plans offer great value if you need to share passwords securely. In the end, it's all about what you need. If you're on a budget and you just need something simple, go with LastPass. If you want advanced features and great security and you don't mind paying a bit more, 1Password is the best fit for you. Either way, using a password manager is crucial for keeping your digital life secure. That's all for today's comparison. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more online safety tips and reviews in future content. And we'd also love to hear from you and what password manager you are currently using. Let us know down in the comment section. As always, thanks so much for watching and stay safe online.